the way the dust is stirred up and that little dust devil, the way it's arcing, it's just so cool. Yeah. A little shrimp swimming by, a little curious. A nice car. Except the grab's horrible. Uh, yeah. Ah, and the button's horrible. All gone. I don't like doing it this way. Okay. Front core? Yeah. Can we uh, switch over to yep. dive? To dive. So I'm now turning over the SPL back to Annie, and thank you all for having me on this watch as a guest. Thanks, Daniel. Thanks, Thanks Daniel. Dan. Are we doing one or two push cores on this region? Generally, we, we do a pair if we can. Does this look like sticky stuff? I don't know about that. We'll see. <laughs> I, I don't think it is, but... On the finer side. So the problem with the side grab is uh, I end up with the, the grip being all... Wonky. Wonky, yeah. I can't see what I'm doing. We grab a... C pen? Mm -hmm. Was yeah. it the one? It, it the could one. be the one. Oh. The one. <laughs> Do you want me to pan camera for you, Robert? Nope, you got it. I don't. Okay. You got Atalanta. Uh, standing by inside. Or on yeah, the switch over. Swapped over. No draw. Oh, it's oh. going away. Still got half. Yeah, it's got all falling out. Oh. Yeah, it's not sticky. Nope. It fell out. Are we giving up? Let's <coughs> give up. Yeah. There'll be there'll probably be lots of sedimenty spots around here. Might just draw an X through that one so we don't use that one again because it's got stuff in it to that push core. Oh, okay, got it. Do we want to leave it as a sample number? I don't think there's anything in it. Okay. Let's 
sample drawer coming in. Back to dive salvo. Oh, so every time we do that, though, we come up with these gauges oh. and I can't see. There you go. I just pressed, yeah, I pressed that one afterwards. Okay, so I answer anything else here? No. Great. Um, do Thank we you. want to, any other reason to proceed along this uh, flat sediment bottom or do we want to start working our way up the slope here? Towards the slope, yeah. Towards the slope. Okay. Zoom in, That's oh, nothing. Never mind. <laughs> Bridge something. nav? It is something. There's a shadow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, zoom Let's in. Let's do three zero meters, two eight zero. Oh. This looks... Mm. Huh. I think that's... That could be Anthoptilidae. Kind of a tall one. No, it's more likely part up to long. Good, thank you. Yeah. ROV, your new heading is 280. 280. Gonna start to head up the slope. Uh, we can't see it. I would say low confidence on that ID. <laughs> hey, do you like down light off or down light on? On. On. This is an interesting question. <laughs> uh, what's the best smelling thing the ROV has ever brought up? <laughs> we, we talked um, about that yesterday. With the, oh, really? Uh, yeah. That's best. true. There are some corals that smell good. Whalebone does not qualify as one of those. No. What did, Samantha <laughs> had a, a watermelon flavored... Uh, sea slug. Yeah. Scented what? Sea slug, but that's, that's not... It's a... Uh, <laughs> so I was going to say flavored. Corn. Oh, no, I'm sorry, no, smelling. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the melobies that live in the giant kelp forest of California also do not taste like watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> you try them? You gotta, gotta try it for science. For science. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Is that a Zoom request? It was a Zoom request. Oh, yeah. I hear you. Yeah. Occupy. This is a, a lot of different C pens up here, huh? This one is Pro Protoptilum. Protoptilum. Oh, I'm actually thinking behind? the last one was closer to Halop Terrace. There's a little Hermy behind it. Oh, hey. <laughs> 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 Let's see, what's a good smelling thing we've brought up? I know. Well, that's not fossil something that I've experienced. I don't okay. think, yeah, there's nothing really that's brought up that smells good. We're good on this. What's that's the best too? tasting that's rock, though? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, it tastes rocks. Mm. Hey, Adam, Adam he likes rocks. He yeah. likes his rocks. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Steve so says that uh, many primnoids smell like cucumber watermelon. Yep, 
cucumber okay, watermelon. I'd really? like to experience that. That's that's interesting. Oh, and he so says the smell is stronger at higher latitudes. <laughs> is that a euphemism? That's interesting. When I'm higher, they smell better. <laughs> <laughs> So none on our none on our dive so far no. has been smelling. I haven't good. smelled anything good. That's not fossils are that, out of the question. Um. <laughs> you guys do do a smell check on everything though, right? What that comes into the lab. Or like you're curious. Oh, of course. Or you're curious, <laughs> right? <after> the <laughs> taste test. <laughs> Okay, continuing on. <laughs> Fridge now. Steve also said, but most people tell me to get away if I ask them to smell this sample. <laughs> <laughs> Let's add another three zero meters to two eight zero. I don't know why, Steve. Can you zoom in? I don't. See schmutz. Yeah. Yeah. In the shape of a holothurian. Wait, what's the name of? C Schmutz. S C H M U T Z. It's not an ID. It's not an ID. What? It's not like an ID. Oh, it's like C snot. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Calcareous ooze. That's that's Yiddish, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thing is, Adam started <laughs> giving me the yeah, letter by letter ID. <laughs> <laughs> I was confidently writing uh, that. <laughs> so, zoom now, we do not have a uh, uh, Atalanta Another sonar. Is that right? Two Correct. Okay. Cool. Okay, carry on. Then what is the cloud of debris everywhere around the Dumbo Octopus? Marine snow. Can we elaborate on marine <laughs> snow, please? Yeah, oh, marine Should we let snow. Mike take this Caused one? Caused by Atalanta. <laughs> 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 no, it's true. I mean, we're, we're moving sediments. around yeah. down here by running these little thrusters or propellers, and, and we make it's currents, right? Atlanta. And it picks, up, it picks up the sediment and kind of churns it up a little bit. We try yeah. not to, but it's yeah. You know, it's Same way when you're possible it's, not yeah. to, to do it. Yeah, especially if you back up. If you back up, you take what all the water you're moving by the vehicle passing through it. Yeah, uh, putting stirs. it in front of the camera. Yeah, yeah. throwing yeah. it in front of the camera. Oh, Same way that your car driving past like a pile of leaves will blow things up. It's yeah. Yeah. That said, there is a normal amount of marine snow particles in the water. You can kind of see in the Atalanta cam what that looks like. That's channel two on Nautilus What's Live. What's this coming Wh this? What is this? Zoom in. Is oh. this a rat tail? Is it? No. Wishful thinking. Cuscale. Huh? Cuscale. <laughs> nice whiskers. It's a very cool angle. Oop. 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 All right. Gone. It dove into the ground. <laughs> they, they are expert Don't at that. Don't they all? <laughs> all right. We moving? Maybe, yeah, maybe that's sure. why they evolved that little Three helmet zero. thing. They run into True. so much stuff. We should have evolved better navigation. <laughs> Jules, when we were on doing our ship to shore interaction, I, uh, we saw that um, did we sample a uh, sea pen? Yeah, we did. Oh. Well, it was perfect. They're like, do you guys pick things up off the C4? Yeah. We like, flipped over and it was like. <laughs> <laughs> it was perfect timing. Ooh. What is that? Yeah. Or is it she, 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 is that she, seaweed? <laughs> like, seaweed? Yeah, it looks like a sponge stock. Kind oh, of. Yeah. 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 Okay. Or likely. That's yeah. possible. What? <laughs> right. 
Actually, it looks like an X. Maybe there's yeah. treasure buried there. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's a waypoint. Slurp that. A waypoint. <laughs> From the ancient times. Ancient waypoint. Ancient waypoint. Um, and chat, Argus is fine. <laughs> oh, wow. Argus so and little Hercules is fine. And the question that <laughs> came in uh, was uh, Argus um, retired? No, no, we're not no. using Argus. Argus on cruise. vacation. Yes. Yeah. Argus is on board. Argus is, is, yeah. is fine. Argus is on board. Worst vacation ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to get away by moving six feet to the right. <laughs> <laughs> Balula. 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 And actually, traditionally, ROVs don't like to be sitting on deck. They, they tend to break more if they're just sitting around. Oh. We zoom in, Dave. So do you think you'll... But Argus is fine. Yeah, I was going to say, but Argus, <laughs> Argus is fine. Argus is fine. Is fine. Let's reiterate. But do you think we're going to use them in rotation? No. No. So but Argus will be here the entire season. Atalanta's better when it's kind of rough conditions. Oh. Because oh, it puts okay. a bit less strain on the cable, and it's also easier on deck to handle because it's smaller, you know? Mm -hmm. There's more room around it, so when it's when the vehicle's swinging around in the, in the waves, it's uh, easier to cope with. Oh, I we're think we're good on, on this. this. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Jinx. <laughs> it's funny we reached that point at the same time. You owe me a Coke. Bridge, no? <laughs> a Coke. Uh, Let's do five zero meters to eight zero. <laughs> That's all I have. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> five zero meters to eight zero. I can maybe get you some pineapple juice at lunch. <sighs> Diet Coke supplies are running low. Oh, geez. Uh-oh. I'm going to ration them now. I have one extra if anyone wants. Oh, no, I'm good. I have a Coke. Are you willing to what trade for something? What is it? Well, Adam will have to trade you because he owes me a Coke. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I got some stuff for trading. I, uh, you, didn't, you said you didn't Sounds have anything like yesterday. you don't have snacks. Yeah. Yeah. Story. I don't have snacks, no. Oh, and then this is for you, Pablo. Um, our viewers would like for you to, well, we were in here, uh, to continue on uh, f with your explanation with the Raman with the spectrometer. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, so uh, uh, I don't remember where we left it off, but uh, but I think uh, I think Dave was showing our in Channel 3, perhaps, was showing our screen here, and, uh, and I think he's pulling it back again, yeah. So uh, just very quickly, for those of you who haven't heard from us over the last uh, few weeks on how this system works. So we're looking at uh, four mechanisms by which light interacts with matter, matter being liquid, solid, and gases even. So uh, when you shoot the laser, and you've seen that in the screen, and you see it in channel two right now, uh, if you're looking, uh, you can see a, a green dot in the bottom. Uh, and Put up to them. That, that laser beam, what it does is uh, said four things. First first of all, it reflects back to you the same way it came. So that's what you Are see green in the screen. Retracted pops or Most just little ones? Of the yeah, laser, it looks like it uh, has its... Sorry. Uh. You can keep going, Pablo. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. So uh, <laughs> uh, uh, I think there is a lot of exciting science also being done on the fly. So we have to uh, share the waves here. But, uh, <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll make it quick. So uh, first of all, what happens is that most of the light that uh, you should uh, or you fire into the sample, gets back to you as it is. Yeah, we're good, so thank you. It's, it's what is called in science lingo elastic scattering. So if you imagine a tennis ball that you push it or you throw it against the floor and it comes back to your hand exactly to the same point where you dropped it. So that would be an ideal world where a lot of the energy, all of the energy of the ball gets back to you into your hand. So that happens a lot in, in it doesn't happen a lot with tennis balls, but it happens a lot with uh, photons and lasers, right? So uh, this is what you see here uh, if I'm if looking at my screen, I'm looking at the blue uh, internal. Oh, it's gone. But uh, uh, I think David is picking it back. So if I look at the in a 
uh, in, uh, in channel three, uh, you see my my uh, my arrow here. I'm looking at the blue line, and my screen is uh, my pointer is pointing at the sharpest uh, feature you see on the right of the screen. So this will be the laser that we see back to our screen. So that doesn't tell us anything except it, except that you know the laser is working and it's getting back to us uh, exactly at the at the right frequency, right? So um, now you've seen it. You've seen the screen flicker if you were looking at it right now and refresh, and there's something new coming in here. So second thing we're looking at uh, in our instrument is something called the Raman effect. Not Raman noodles, but <laughs> Raman with two A's. Uh, Raman effect, uh, which is uh, the opposite to the elastic scattering, is inelastic scattering. Uh, inelastic meaning that every time the photon interacts with the matter, it's going to lose some energy. Uh, very much when you drop a tennis ball, and eventually after a few bounces, it's going to sit steady on the ground. Every bounce it's taking away Another energy from the ball and Thank giving you. it to the ground so in our case uh, photons uh, are losing energy to the matter and they come into you uh, with less energy in our uh, camera that looks like a different color and that's exactly what you're seeing here the plots uh, if you look in both of them from left to right um, uh, you're looking at uh, uh, less energy Good. Uh, Sorry, more energy uh, on the left, uh, less energy on the right. Um, and uh, more energy means more ultraviolet. Uh, these are more energetic photons in the ultraviolet. We don't see them, but uh, but uh, it's what you know the sun uses to to uh, to really uh, you know heat us, and that's why we have to use sunblocks. Uh, it burns uh, skin. So uh, here, UV is you. more energy than infrared, which is on the other end of the spectrum. So you look at the right side of the of the plot here. Uh, we have infrared light. Uh, and infrared is what we use to warm up, and um, and also the sun, of course, is uh, is uh, very effic efficient at that. So, and in between the ultraviolet and the infrared, is where our uh, visible spectrum sits. Uh, the things you see, the things your phone camera can see, it's in between that ultraviolet and the infrared. So that's why when you start going lower in energy from ultraviolet, you see violet, color violet, purple, blue. Uh, green, yellow, red, and eventually infrared. So you have the whole rainbow is essentially an uh, expression of the different colors that make up our world, or the colors you c we can see, rather, with our eyes. Uh, so what we've done in our instrument, and you're doing the science called spectroscopy, uh, is you split the light uh, into its component colors. And this is what we're seeing here in these two plots. It's uh, each of these little bumps and uh, and you see little uh, like uh, peaks, uh, little valleys in the in the plots. That's just telling us how many photons are coming at what color. And this is what Raman is all about. Uh, with Raman, remember every every bounce of the ball, every difference in, in altitude at, or height at what the ball comes back to you, you can quantify that, you can measure that. And by measuring that, in our case with photons instead of tennis balls, we can actually fingerprint, we can know what molecules we have in the target and therefore identify the chemical composition of the target. Uh, so that's what the Raman effect is uh, is, uh, is telling us. Uh, what molecules do we have in our target? So that's number two, right? So remember, we have the elastic scattering. So that's the laser coming back to us. We have Raman, which is inelastic scattering, which is photons coming back to us, bounced off at different colors. And then we go into the domain of photons being captured by the target, being uh, trapped into the material there. And these photons will get absorbed. Uh, will bounce off, will move electrons up and down into the molecules and the, and the atoms, and eventually will be re-emitted back to us uh, at totally other different uh, frequencies. Uh, and this is what you see here in this very wide uh, uh, envelope uh, bands of peaks, if you want, um, as opposed to the sharp peaks that we can see occasionally, like the one that I'm pointing at here uh, with, my, with my little arrow. Uh, sometimes when you have features like the one I'm following here, all this uh, green line and, and also all the red uh, lines here in the bottom, that is the fluorescence coming back to us from the sample. And this phenomenon, uh, uh, we can see it here uh, overlapping with our Raman signals, which is great because in one photo, in one snapshot of the camera, we can see both uh, the scattering uh, for the molecules and we can see the fluorescence. And fluorescence is very important for us because it's what's telling us the pigments that we can see in the in the materials here. So when I you talked earlier outside. about beta carotene, uh, when I'll talk later, hopefully about chlorophyll and, and other pigments that we may see, 
uh, uh, this is exactly telling us that uh, that the fluorescence is being is being excited with our lasers, and the the sample is giving back this fluorescence as an indicator of hey, we have pigments here. Uh, take a look at this. And finally, the fourth uh, the fourth interaction. Uh, so after the elastic scattering, inelastic slash Raman fluorescence, then you have something called luminescence, which is another way of uh, of matter absorbing uh, light and giving it back to you at a totally different color. And luminescence, you probably have seen it before in a science museum or a science class, where you have a like a glass, right, that is uh, between you and some rocks in the bottom. You turn off the lights, uh, you push a button or, or toggle a switch uh, that will shine black light, uh, like the one you see in the movies, right, when the forensic team is going to the crime scene. Uh, this black light is nothing else than ultraviolet light uh, that will shine very uh, specifically on, uh, on particular uh, uh, materials that you want to analyze. And uh, these materials will luminate back to you in this glowing yellow, pink, purple, uh, cyan, all these uh, very, very striking colors uh, that rocks will shine back to you after you, you turn off the light. That is luminescence. And, uh, and that's the fourth phenomenon that we see here. And we are uh, using that to identify uh, uh, different uh, uh, elements within rocks. So when you heard Adam talk about manganese uh, uh, materials, the manganese will really luminous back to us in a very specific way when we shoot it with the right laser, which we have, and at the right place, which we will try to as soon as we reach those samples. So, uh, so the combination of, of these four techniques was one of the, I guess, the most complicated things that we had to do, is to really uh, be able to measure all those four things at the same time. And the trick was to uh, look at uh, when this phenomena happen in time, from the time when you shoot with the laser until they come back to you. And by being able to perfectly time when we fire our laser uh, and when our camera is measuring the laser back, we've been able to really uh, differentiate these four phenomena uh, in, our, in our experiments. So uh, that is the, I guess, one of the demonstrations that we wanted to do here is that we can really do these four things. And we are. So uh, hopefully as we as we hit the slope and we find some rocks, we can spend more time there and, uh, and do a little bit of, uh, of potential luminescence uh, on the on targets. Fluorescence on some of the pigments, perhaps coral, uh, and, uh, and Raman on, uh, on the water peaks, of course, uh, as a reference, but also on perhaps some of the uh, pigments and minerals that we have there as well. So. Is there any interference from the ROV lights? Have we tried it with all the lights off? No. Uh, the ROV lights are essentially continuous lights. Uh, I think we they're, can keep they're, going. Uh, I have an idea on this. They're just Thank all you. the time on. And our, and our uh, detector, uh, like I said, uh, is very, very finely tuned to oh, only open when we have Production. photons coming back to us. Mm -hmm. So by, by gating out, as that's the scientific name, is to gate out, to, to remove anything background from our own light, uh, we're able to be able to operate not only with the ROV lights, but we do this in daylight. Uh, on Mars, uh, in the full sun, at noon, uh, we're doing this uh, and get out all this uh, light. On Earth, on our own planet, we've done it uh, in the lab, lights on, and here these lights do not interact with us. Mm. It's all about timing. And, you know, when but I say aren't, timing aren't here... Aren't the lights yeah? always causing some amount of... of uh, Reflection and, and and the like. Uh, they do, but uh, but we are cleverly blind to that. Uh, okay, that and you're service. also putting out like more power than these. Yeah, well, yeah are. exactly. I think that's the key: is that uh, if you are good enough at timing when your photons come to your camera, those photons, your science photons, will overwhelm any other light that comes mm -hmm. to you uh, uh, at the same time. Uh, yeah. So we have our viewers um, asking, I think, about um, your uh, chart. Uh, what is the spike that's almost that's been almost constant at the 40, 70, 40, 80 range? And then there's another one also about the... And there seems to be a constant peak in the 530 range. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so okay. I'll start with the easy one. Okay. The the, the one that is in the five, in fact, is 532, uh, to be specific. Uh, the one that I'm pointing here, this is, the, look at the blue plot to the right uh, at about 532. That is the laser line. So this is the 
elastic uh, scattering, right? So this is the the same light that we should that is coming back to us. So that's always there. In fact, we use it as a reference point, right, to quantify the the light at the other peaks. Uh, so uh, we don't see it in this frame here, but uh, the other question was uh, there is typically a peak at between 470 and 480 in this area that I'm highlighting here. That is uh, most likely chlorophyll uh, fluorescence uh, peak. Uh, so we don't see it often because if you look at channel, uh, I think it's one right now uh, or two as well. What you see is essentially just white or yellow sediment uh, uh, sand, and most more often than not, it's just devoid of any um, of any uh, chlorophyll. Uh, chlorophyll, we think we see it in this uh, darkish greenish blackish uh, patches that you can see there on channel one. So if you pay attention and yeah, you look at this 475-ish uh, uh, area and you see it, that means that our laser hit that uh, that particular spot uh, for long enough to see that feature showing up in our screen. Great so questions, and I'm happy that you guys can <laughs> see the, the numbers <laughs> and the scale. That would make it easy to, <laughs> to talk about things. And uh, this is also another question, but um, so how has this uh, expedition been uh, been for you guys? Has there anything, has there been anything exciting or unexpected? You know, Kevin, I'm gonna pan down to you. Uh, <laughs> uh, so far, That's the only exciting or unexpected thing was the intensifier when it got too cold, uh, it shut off, and so we had to do a code rewrite to change uh, the way we function our heaters. Um, and now, with changing the uh, PWM, essentially, how, how often our heaters are on, uh, we can stay continuously operational. So we've been able to steady state our temperatures um, in our bottle. And so the next rev, we'll be paying attention to that a little bit more and having a little bit more uh, finesse control of that. A hermit racing along. It was going Thank fast. you. <coughs> Is this a right crab with an urchin? Yes, it is. A hermit with a or anemone? Um, wow! Carrier crab. Cool. I love these. Thank you. Robert, DVL reset. Okay. Oh yeah. Best dive ever. Yeah, we're really getting all the hits in this. Yeah. <laughs> So you mentioned that it was surprising that um, it shut off and you had to rewrite the code. Um, why was it surprising? It wasn't um, designed to shut off. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, I get that. <laughs> well, uh, it was surprising mostly because of timelines and so getting ready for this cruise uh, and having a bunch of other projects simultaneously. I okay. wasn't able to do as much of a testing regime as I ah, wanted to. Okay. So okay. we did run the instrument cold, uh, but we didn't run the instrument cold for like three hours uh, when we were doing our tests. So didn't quite get to steady state apparently. Um, and so that was one of the reasons. It, sometimes you find interesting changes in situ versus lab settings. So, uh, but we were able to compensate for it and keep moving forward, which is always nice. Kevin, Thank what are some so of the much. other projects you're working on? Uh, oh, gosh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> just pick one, one, one or two, you know, you don't have to uh, the whole list. So probably the other interesting one, which is also looking at uh, biology. Um, so I work with the NOAA fisheries for a, something called the ESP off the Oregon coast. Uh, no, Washington coast, I apologize. Um, about 13 miles off, and it's looking for domoic acid. So it's informing fisheries for things like red tide, but it can also be um, adjusted to look for whale poop uh, and other things. But that was I was on that cruise right before this one, and then we'll be switching those ESPs out in August as well. So that's a ESP is an environmental sample processor. It was uh -huh. designed by Inbari and yeah. now is run through. Uh, McLean, I believe. Mm. Oh, that's it. And Thank is that you so a much shallow for water thing? Is that on a Jimmy mooring or something? So that's on a mooring. Um, 
So we use a three stack of train wheels as the mm -hmm. anchor, and then it goes up. The, the actual ESP Maybe is about 30, 40 meters below Noted. the surface of the waves. Right, yeah. And good, then we have a telebuoy uh, that rides on top of it, which gives us cellular comms back. So we're constantly talking to it. And actually, I get emails every night saying that it's taking its samples and running its different uh, aspects, which is... Emails? Weird. So old school. How about text? Like <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a LinkedIn message. <laughs> Oh, one of those white halosaurs again? Yeah, the pearly looking one. Looks like it. So pretty. That's cool. What what happens if uh, if you get a bad email from that? Uh, go out and fix it. <laughs> go out and fix it. Um, yeah, uh, do you need a it. big boat to go out to that, or is it like kind of a small boat operation? Uh, it's a smaller boat. It's yeah. It's. it's I have no idea how big it is. It's probably from the transom to the mess is about the size of the boat, whatever length that is uh -huh. of this boat. So it's a little bit more bumpy because it has, oh, we have yeah. the same waves as now, <laughs> but a much smaller boat. Chat, we are at 14.54 meters. Oh, oh, sorry, Annie. No, you're fine. Approximately 4,773.62 feet. Approximately. Hmm. What was that shadow? Yeah, what was that shadow? <laughs> Okay. Was, it could have been like a little shrimp, but close to the light. Okay. True. And then we do have uh, viewers tuning in um, in regards to our sonar mapping. Um, so the statement and question is, I heard sonar mapping can cause um, stranding of whales and dolphins. Is there any other way to map the ocean and why is it even important? Uh, sonar mapping is typically not uh, harmful to marine mammals. It's because the intensity of sound is right. pretty low. There are other um, marine geophysical methods that are, are, are more impactful that put a lot more sound into the water. Um, there's really n the Seven other way to, to map the seafloor, at least how they did it you know, 150 years ago, was by dropping a w weighted line down to the C4 and to see how much line went out before it hit the bottom. Um, so that would be like one measurement every couple hours uh, in today's, with today's acoustic technology, it's uh, hundreds of thousands of measurements every couple hours. Um, so there really isn't an alternative because sound is Electromagnetic radiation doesn't pass through the water, so you have to use sound. Um, but it does not cause damage to marine mammals. All right, thank you so much for answering. Um, and then another question is, uh, do you find that in more sparsely populated areas, the flora and fauna there is larger due to lack of competition or smaller because of lack of nutrition? Uh, generally speaking, we've seen smaller because of lack of nutrition or lack of, of food rocks. resources. Yep, that sure looks like that This thing. looks like another Kofubalamnon. So that looks like the one you got earlier? Yeah, it does. Okay, so we don't need another. Um, yep. Thank you. Yeah, so when we tend to see the, where we see the biggest organisms, we tend to see a lot more of them as well. So science, we're, uh, if you're looking at Atlanticam, there's 
We've entered the, the rock. Rocks! Woohoo! Was there anything that we wanted rock to do time. upon finding rocks, or we want to just continue up the slope slowly? Uh, we should, you know, quietly congratulate ourselves for finding the rocks. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, no, we can keep going. I mean, you know, at some point we want to sample and and uh, think, you know, from the laser perspective, we want to make sure we're shooting the rocks. Right. Is that a holodurian? What? What is that? What is that? What is that? It's a holodurian. <laughs> holodurian. Really? Really? Yeah. Wow. Cool. Okay, Pretty. Yeah. So the goal is to fly over as many rocks as possible. As yeah, I think we're we're still in kind yeah. of like an exploration mode. Let's, you know, make some tracks over the rocks and then. Great. We'll see a spot where we'll. You know, one thing I think would be cool is if we can maybe even turn one of these rocks over at some point and shoot the underside and, I don't know, play around. Pablo, is there any uh, specific thing to do with the laser on these? Is there like a hold position or uh, or you think we're fine just kind of driving over them? Yeah, so uh, driving over is uh, is good for now. Uh, we're keeping an eye on, I guess, interesting rocks that we haven't seen before, just to complete our our catalog. Mm -hmm. uh, I like your idea of flipping a rock at some point, just to look under, mm -hmm. and, uh, and yeah, and I think the the idea is going to be um, when we find a rock is to hover at about three meters. Um, that's our optimal measurement. Um, when we flip it over again, go up back to three. And if we see um, a particularly interesting rock with uh, perhaps a manganese uh, or suspect manganese uh, or other mineral uh, layer or rind, then we we will try to uh, to land on top of it, uh, literally on sit on top of it to get as close as we can, and use a, one of our well, less tested like a, a hard spot on Juliana. It's like. They won't believe me. Aliens <laughs> <laughs> have spoken. <laughs> okay, let's try a move. Bridge nav. <coughs> oh, when you're ready, if we can try a three zero meter two eight zero move. And we're out of it. Yeah, that Turn makes back. sense. We've turned away from the... Yeah, I'm gonna head back starboard. Um, just for general awareness, the current kind of increased significantly. Um, up it at the surface? It, yeah, it, it was just up at 2.5 knots, um, and it's dropped back down to 2.3, but I think this is, this is definitely reaching the limit of ship capability with the GP. So, um, We'll, we'll see how we go, but okay. hoping it keeps driving. Could have just been a little... Squall? Squall. But, it, I mean, I thought squall, but deck looks fine, so... Subsea squall. You say it five times fast? <laughs> uh, nav, yeah, are we... In. Nav, are we going towards waypoint two? Uh, we're going more towards waypoint three, which will get back centered here. Um, the way where we're moving is uh, this direction, so it's kind of a slow, slow up the upslope. If we want to go steeper, we could, but we'll need to zig back and forth to do that. It's like another no worries. Talent. Thank you. Two eight zero, please. chat is tuning in could could it be a paleo shoreline 
The uh, ancient pineal. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, yes, the material, as we've seen it before from other dives, is two eight zero. Two eight zero. Very oh friable. So right. It's. I'm, I'm it, tending in two eight zero. It would get totally destroyed in a coastal environment. Um, they want to look at the rocks. No. That's that's more than two eight zero. You want to look at rocks. <laughs> Fish. <laughs> we have a little fish there. Hello, Sor. And then regarding the mystery scratches, that rock is so soft, is it possible that some organisms burrowed into it and weakened it so much that it broke off, revealing some of their tunnels? Yeah, I mean, well. when we scraped some away, it looks like there was a little tunnel exposed um it's very chalky yeah. Yeah. very chalky it could could be just that's the failure mode for this rock these like kind of curved fractures and we're just seeing irregularities on a fracture surface Or Ontario? very scrapey, scrapey aliens, you know, could be either. Hmm. Can we zoom on that, please? Yes. Zoom in, Dave. <laughs> yes, it's back. <laughs> it's back. Uh, Standard issue. Zoom in, Dave. Oh, what is that in the Atalanta cam? Holothorian? Jelly? Hmm. It does look like oh. a jelly. Uh -huh. That's a cool view from Atalanta. Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. It looks like primnoid. Is that like a juvenile house? Oh, it just went off camera. Oh. Oh, there it is. Got me. I think Primnoa, though, I think that's right. Is it hard to tell. It's not really in good health. Huh? It is. Yeah. Not. Interesting branching. Hey. Okay. Okay. Are we going to try and sample? Get, get a chalky rock sample? Yeah, definitely. I okay. think we'll have plenty to choose from. Still going 280? Um... Yeah, I, th I think we we're changing heading a little bit, which makes me think we might be able to try two nine zero. So let's see. Bridge now. That's pretty bold. <laughs> <laughs> Big cusky. Uh, do you think yeah. we could try a three zero meter move to two nine zero? Blue Copy. Thanks. It might be too bold. We'll see. Flying at the edge of the sun. <laughs> we zoom in, Dave. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That is, uh, wow, a, interesting looking. What? There's a lot of parasites on it. Still like us. Oh. Yeah. Ugh, that one doesn't look great. He looks yeah, old. He it looks, looks old. yeah, out of shape. He's all in turning. <laughs> to give you some more leash. Oh, I don't it feel happy for that one. Maybe it lived a really long, happy life. Yeah. yeah. And it continues to. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Despite its <laughs> old age. Yeah, maybe it's living, it's, it's retired. Yeah. 
a few bumps in his life, but he's got it. It's good. Right. Some of those bumps are parasites. <laughs> <laughs> some are rocks. It was so getting it's maybe it was lonely and it wanted yeah. some live in companionship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well we've got fifteen minutes left of our watch, so Adam less chance for a rock. <laughs> We'll see what we see. I mean, <laughs> that one's shaped like a candy corn. It oh sure my is. Is <laughs> Not sampleable. That's cool. You can see like uh, sediment movement around it. It's kind of uh, mm. dug out on the uh, up sediment side, and you can see the refraction of the waves and the ripples. So what's the move? Two nine zero. I have uh, zero line. tail to tail with you right now. What's this big old ground fault you got jumping off here? Mm -hmm. On her craft, no doubt. You want craft uh, valve closed or? Uh, I you think have it's craft power off right now. Yeah, I wanted. I just not turned it off. Okay. I think that's what's going to be. Can you look at the alarm page and see if it's been updated? Yeah, alarms, ground fault, Herc, uh, ACGF last heard about a second to oh, second so to go. Oh, still there. Still there. Still there. Um, Maybe valve or. No, it's, it's gonna be. What's it gonna be? Yeah, it's still up. It's updated. It's I'm betting. Is that anything? What is that? Yeah, it looks I'm like kill a the Doppler. Magnus Can we Morales. zoom on this, please? Are you? That would be really strange if it was. What are you looking at? This over here. Oh, I can see it's is it, attached is it to the rock. Okay. Uh, it is four and a half oh, seconds. Like five is yeah. just updated. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look! But it's turned yellow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yep. You didn't need that anyway. <laughs> nope. <laughs> um. Oh, it's connected down here. Yeah. Can we uh, zoom in? Maybe Dave? Bella. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that a question mark at the end of that? <laughs> Anyone? No, it still looks like Magnus Borellis. we uh, run up, like lift up and go over the top of this with the laser? Over the coral? It is. Mm -hmm. That's, really? Is that a thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, we'll try it. It's a little... Okay. A little wispy? Yeah, that's a good, <laughs> good way to put it. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's, let's do it. Yeah, I think that'll be... Okay. It's, it's very... I guess it looks pretty bright red, right? So. Yeah. Could be an interesting pigment there. So. Okay. It's kind of dark back there, though. It is, yeah. Yeah, just to do your best. Can't see a thing back there. Oh yeah, and and, uh. and Kevin stepped out to a little break and I do not want to oh, okay. mess up with the controls of the lights. Nah. All right. well, Although, I think... Oh, well now we're going to get the backup dust cloud but from Atalanta. Hmm. Do my best. <laughs> 
ship has stopped. All right, I think we we don't need to try for that because we can't see what we're yeah. what we're doing. But we did kick up a lot of dust, so we got that going for us. <laughs> <laughs> we call that a Glassboro dusting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike. That's that was funny. <laughs> no, that's good. <laughs> no, it's no, good. It's not good. The pain no. in his voice. <laughs> Everything's fine. It's all fine. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, Jersey snowstorm. Uh, uh, Jersey snowstorm. <laughs> which was non-existent this last winter. Oh, really? There's nothing. I think there was like one or two days of like some flurries and that was it. Massachusetts barely got I snow. Just, I was just floating up I know. Too much Thank there. God. I don't need any snow days. No. Snow days are, are a pain in my rear. I wish we had more snow. Yeah, how come we don't get much light back there? I think I was just too high. Yeah. Well, they can uh, adjust the exposure of their camera, but uh, Kevin was. Oh, it's on their camera, though. Yeah. You have mm -hmm. control over their camera? No. No, no, Kevin they do. Can, oh. But the the human gooey Kevin is yeah. out of the room. <laughs> human no. Yeah, and, and he, he didn't want to teach me how to do it because no. he feared I would break it. Which, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> which I, I'm, tr I'm trying right now. So. Yeah, I think, yeah, I'm getting more light here, but I. Yeah. It's not refreshing in your screen. You see, I already broke it. Yeah. <laughs> I think I was just yeah. thrown off by the auto. Oh, there you go. Yeah. It's I think it's delayed a little bit. But, uh, yeah, you got like four seconds of delay on that thing. Yeah, there we go. Oh. There it is. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, I'll keep it like this, and you'll get a bright. Uh, what happened to it? Then it went away. It stopped. It just takes a, when I change the exposure, it takes a little while. Oh, there you go. Yep. You're right on it. Yep. Yep. Nice. God, he's good. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it didn't update, so now I, uh, I don't know. Your DCGF is back. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. What do we have on the middle of the her camera? That's awesome. Know, scan, but potentially uh, important way of measuring, which is very close up and flooded with a lot of light and see if we can see something different. Mm. This looks like a bamboo. Are those zoanthids, though? Potentially. Chat, that was a holothorian. Oh, yeah, they kind of look like zoanthids. They do today. look a little bit like zoanthids, huh? But so regularly spaced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are zoanthids. Wow. Such interesting branching. I'm just going to take a picture of this on the still cam before we move on. So, Adam, in one of the other dives, we had the rocks that were. Uh, like the white powder once you crushed them yeah uh, is that what this is it looks similar yeah all oh, right I, I think we'll know once we sample right and uh, and see inside but it could very well be I mean it's in the same kind of place you know top of the seamount in a in a kind of uplifted little section so I wouldn't be surprised if it was the same and those looked like they're basically made entirely of foraminifera. And Steve on the chat's noting that it's crust free, which is, uh, it's also pretty weird, you know, like I, I'm not yeah. sure why that is. Looks hey. like we have a Chrysogorgia. Nice. Magnus. The, the dive just keeps getting better. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah. 
Hey, uh, Adam, uh, I'm looking at that uh, roundish boulder on the top of the, of the screen, tower yeah. one. Uh -huh. uh, that could be a good place to hover. It's big enough, I think. Uh, okay. How long do we want to hover for? A few minutes, I think. Yeah. A yeah. few minutes? A few minutes, yeah. Bridge, Nav. Let's hold position here. Oh, that's a good shot. Mm -hmm. Ooh, an associate. Shrimp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. All right, I think we're good on this one. So I think what we want to do is uh, up ahead there are a couple bigger flat boulders. Yeah. We want to get the laser uh, over one of those and hover at three meters. So like straight ahead there? Yeah. And I've turned on the red target laser and that won't turn off, so it should be a little easier to spot. Dave, can you swap out? Oh, well, there it is. Yeah, I see. Can you come down a bit? Please? Yeah, but my altitude's in the single digits. Ready to bring the ship back? Maybe. Yeah, I'm at like seven meter altitude. Yeah, bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back home. Is that a burst engine or a other star? <coughs> Bridge star. nav. Is that the rock? Could you do a two, two you, zero meter step, zero nine zero? Yeah. Yeah, I think the one just behind you, just right there. Yeah, that one. Actually, percentage. Correct. Yeah. Noted. All right, we gotta we gotta get the ship moved back, or we're gonna be bouncing okay. around. Yeah. Or we could move ahead and hope for another better spot. That ship moves in, so. We're committed. Committed. What is uh, the Atalanta cam view is super weird right there. Oh. Oh, I guess we're looking at a near ledge and then a little shadow. Yeah. Right there. Yep. If you're watching uh, Channel 3, uh, this is uh, our camera uh, now with the laser. and. You've noticed probably that uh, now you can see the green uh, laser uh, shooting from the top into the red spot. That red spot is a secondary laser we have uh, to help pilots uh, know where they're targeting. Um, this laser can be on all the time, and it's uh, it's useful to to really uh, look where we're shooting. So, so you'll see it off and on now as we're starting doing a bit more targeted uh, measurements. It'll it'll be it'll be always there, but uh, we don't use it for science. That is just for for uh, targeting purposes. Moving back. Weird textures on these boulders. Yeah, that scrape right there on the side is interesting. It's some sort of fluting of some sort. What was the word? Fluting. Fluting? Fluting. Mm -hmm. 
Can you explain what that means in a geological context? Uh, I guess maybe it might be something I made up, but <laughs> I think of it as uh, uh, kind of grooves that are, r you know, rounded, round bottom grooves. I don't know. Can we, maybe we should look that up and see what the term means. A groove or set of grooves forming a surface decoration or sound of a flute. <laughs> <laughs> Fluting. The sound of a flute. We have our viewers who are curious, um, how, did, how did these rocks form? Why do they look almost like rounded? That's a good question. Um, Is that giving you enough leash? Basically, no. because of where we are, at the very at like top of the seamount, I'd expect them either to I be think you're all right, though. carbonate rocks uh, here, from eight, eight. Uh, fringing Plus. reefs as the right atoll kind of was just below sea level, or sedimentary rocks from an internal lagoon yeah. uh, in the atoll. And I probably won't be able to know until we uh, bring some up and take a look at them. All right, we're good. You good? Oh, you already got it. And then, um, yep. oh. There's a lot of bouncing around there, but. Were these rocks ever above water? Probably not, Okay. Would be my guess. Okay. But they were probably pretty near the surface of the ocean. Okay, thank you. Uh, you're not on SPL, but. Science, is there anything else here you'd like to do? Let's ask uh, Pablo and Kevin if they got what they needed from. Laser this. science. <laughs> <laughs> anything else you'd like I to do? We, we got what we needed. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll here. Robert, you want to drive forward? Get ahead of Atlanta? Give me a minute or two. Be able to get that? Yeah. Yeah, sure. It looks like a primnoa to me. Maybe Norella. Zoom in. Kind of again looks like zoanthids. So nice. Kind of does, yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yep. zoanthids. And, uh, oops. Mollusk. Mollusk. <laughs> oh, sorry, didn't mean to make that. Cool. Got it. Right up against the rock. God, look at that. That's awesome. Mm. Right. Got a good picture of that one. Oh, that's cool. That's a big fish. Cuskeel. Oh, It is very large. <laughs> Probably about 45 How many centimeters. centimeters. <laughs> 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 Looks like it escaped something. There with oh my god. Yeah, with the marks. Yeah. Battle scars. Oh, oh. 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 no. Oh, no. Don't do it. Oh, I hate okay. when they do that. Hopefully, they're used to it. Yeah. Probably where he got his battle scars. Battle scars <laughs> or just clumsy. <laughs> These are very interesting boulders. Right? They? Yeah. Yeah. Would that be a bio erosion, Adam? The texture? I mean, it could be. Could be. 
Whoa. Wow. Wow. Whoa. What? Oh, what? what? This is very impressive. Okay. This what? is a... M uh, whoa. Wow. It looks like stalactites or something. Is that just light-colored rock? I think it is. It looked like a bunch Under of hairy underhang? strings. Yeah. yeah. Can you zoom in, Dave? Yeah, let's zoom in on that. That's beautiful. What? What is that? Huh. Uh, wow. <laughs> Petroglyphs? Yeah, it looks like... Whoa. It looks like something's been scratching there. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. The Koski? Uh... Huh. I... That's so interesting. What? Wave cut It looks terraces. like indents. I don't know. It's what I'm yeah. wondering, yeah, if this was subaerial at one point. What that's, was those are, what? That's organic. Oh, yeah. Look, you can see hanging down from the top. Yeah. No, but the this looks like it's been scratched out, right? Or is that no, just the perspective? Well, it does. It, it, really does. it totally like looks like that. But you can see things hanging down from up above. Up above, right? yes. But so you think that's scratching below when you have things? I don't down? know. I don't know. It's I very it's hard. For what is can you pan like uh, a little left and see but if, if I. Let's see if I can get wow. a yeah, different angle at it. Yeah. You want to do a poke? Uh, poke of science? Uh, kind of I think it's not organic. I think it's... Really? Really? <laughs> what is it? Also, I think this... I don't know. Are we looking at, like, old coral structures? Uh, Maybe. I'm going to hold a ship here. This is It does look like, like a... Bridge, no? Like the base, base of a coral. Yeah. Yeah. This is funky. Hold position here. Oh, Steve is asking for a zoom uh -huh. on a coral. Zoom tight. All right, see if we can. Wait, no, I think. The oh. holes. I think he was looking at me. like yeah. this thing. Holes look like rocky intertidal bio erosion. Yeah, no, I think that's true. That's fascinating. Okay, wow. zoom in, Dave. Let's see if we can get close on this. This is so strange. Yes, that's bio stuff. Wow. There right. is bio stuff there. Just sample this whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can we poke it? Can we? Can we? Maybe. I don't know. Okay. There is a lot of gooey stuff on there. Right. What is that? Yeah. It's like something living in little crevices. Yeah. Well, some of them. Oh, gosh. Stress. Time to wake up, guys. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Wake up from this <laughs> geology dream. Yeah. <laughs> My highlight timer. Okay, can you zoom back out, Dave? This is definitely one of the weirdest things I've seen. This is yeah, it's it's beautiful, yeah. though. Yeah. So beautiful. Wow. Hmm. All right. Well, I mean, you we're in this. Do you No, because I think we're in this environment. We're going to see a bunch of this. We'll we'll figure it out. Oh. Wow. Wow. Beautiful. In Atlanta, Cam, it looks like a manta ray or something. Yeah. So, so we have our first student named Brian Kennedy, <laughs> 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 who is going to, under Kevin's direction, is going to operate the, the laser. So Excellent. it's another momentous time for us, because it's the first time we put this in the hands of a scientist that is not us, so. Uh, <laughs> nice. All yours. Yes, yes, I got you. <coughs> so do we want to be up on top of this? Or I guess I'd rather look at the, more of the exposed face, because I'm just. But is there some lasering going on? Oh. Is that what's happening back there? No, I think they're just uh, uh, 
they're shooting the laser whatever we have in front of us so okay i would like to look more at the edge of this we also uh have edge a well anything that has more like vertical exposure yeah we have something ahead i don't see anything ahead though the lines fortunately okay well let's go forward so and then when we Let's right. see what's nothing up ahead. Nothing in the sonar. Nothing, nothing up this sleeve. You have to back up to get the edge again. What's our direction that we're going relative to our heading? Is it uh, we'll be going. The uh, ship just is a little bit to port there. Okay. It can be lined up. I mean, not by much. Twenty degrees, maybe. Yeah, we just got um, the bow thruster had an issue, so they restarted it. Um, so the ship's just coming back to where we were previously. We have this edge right here. Yeah, that. Uh, What's the, Samantha, what's the divisions on the Hercules sonar? Are those like 10 meters? Uh, 10 meters, correct. Okay. We do have a question from chat. Uh, could the wavy pattern under the overhang be an exposed fossil or be exposed fossils? That is certainly one possibility. Right. That this is exposed fossil reef. Um, it's probably going to be very tough to tell because it's, it's been so kind of like smoothed over time. Right. But there's a lot of kind of organic looking shapes within it, you know, so I just don't know. You zoom in again, Dave. Is that a very small metallogorgia with a skull can, hamster? Can you zoom in again, Daryl? <laughs> Like scratchy patterns. Wow. Huh. I still don't know if that's like <laughs> <laughs> organic or not. <laughs> <laughs> so interesting. Would the laser, laser bot be right? able to tell us something yep. about that? Come on down. Okay, so you, so those very straight lines are, are like little faults or little cracks from this uplifted portion. Oh. You got 16 meters, 15 meter. Can you get a zoom again? What about up in here? Oh, is it? You want to see the thing on top? I don't know what this is. <laughs> Not just a hole. No, I'm good. Thank you. All right. Well. <laughs> you got it figured out? Uh, no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I realized that I'm not going to figure it out looking at this spot. <laughs> That definitely looks like bioerosion, the, all the little pattern of holes. This is so impressive. Yeah, I agree. Also, look, it almost looks like roots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like a shallow place where what, just when you get out of diving, the waves are there and it just tumbles you over and you slip because it looks like that? Mm. <laughs> right. Hey, did you out? Wow. So Adam, what kind of tool um, in the future would you need to be able to like, get more information on that type? of rock formation. 
I guess uh, a I mean, drill like would a be handy. Whip. You know, like to be able to take a core Girl, into that. Oh, that would be amazing. It's Dave now. Dave, zoom in. <laughs> gotta get you. Gotta get the name of the video guy right to get us. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we suggest you video. just don't use names. <laughs> hey, video person. <laughs> That's a super curly one. Mm -hmm. We'd also have to change our watch name. Lepidisis. Away from uh, <laughs> zoom in, Dave. <laughs> zoom in, vid. <laughs> Doesn't have quite the same ring. Carato. Mm -hmm. Would it be preferable to just say zoom? Spa curly. <laughs> no. Whatever you want, Spa. <laughs> is that impersonal? Mm -hmm. Curly twice a day. <laughs> I need a zoom. Basically, has no name. All right, we're calling yeah. it curly. <laughs> curly whip. What's the critter in there? Or is it just sea schmutz? Yeah. S C S Alright. I mean there's oh boy, there's another big one. Oh wow. Nice. Can we zoom on that please? Working on it. I think it's like Zoom. Coral and zoanthid or something. Too impersonal? Or maybe it's so all impersonal. <laughs> exposed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nodal bamboo. Uh, that's as far as I go. Nodal bamboo. <laughs> and you take it from there. <laughs> Uh, got me. Very branchy. Yeah, there's a bunch of branches coming Nodal, out. Nodal, Caratois, and Nay. I'll do a little more digging right now. Uh, we good? Well, no. We'd what like we a get? sample. A sample? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> can we zoom out, Dave? <laughs> Wait, let's see if we can find a harder spot. <laughs> can get any better when I zoom out? You can spin around and land up above it, yeah? And reach down? Yeah. I don't want to do that. Uh, <laughs> all right. Push the porch out? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Porch, porch. Porch is extending. Oh, that's zippy. Yeah, porch it's very zippy porch. Extended. Thank you. Now, if we can bash the camera lens into the porch, <laughs> we'll hold on it. The ship has stopped. Thank you. Has been stopped. That's good. <laughs> it's kind of in your face here. There we got a nice exposure. Does look like that same yeah. foraminiferal. Mm, right. Oh. oh. What's the sample? We're going to try, yeah? 
Oh no. No, you're ready. Okay, awesome. Thank you. <laughs> That's not a great sound. <laughs> So what are we doing with this? Is this a snip and slurp? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so. What's the odds of a stand here? So okay. Turn this thing on. Okay, just open the bio box and get a piece in the bio box and then <laughs> close so the bio box. Slurp it later. <laughs> um, Shoreside oh. support is telling us this may be Acanella waberry. Or Weberi. Does never, that mean never been collected in this area? Oh, usually wow. much further north. Okay, so that is not a does not uh, change our plans. All right, rotating nope. sample jar. Yes. Yeah, hang on with the, the doing anything. Okay. I'm gonna get, try and get a piece of it. Can we zoom in, Dave? We only have slurp number three occupied. Other than that. One and two have a fine mesh, so stay away from one to three. Sounds good. Oh, yeah, that looks like that. It's kind of an ugly branch, but it's a good branch. Okay, I'm going to back off on the rock. Deal with it. I think that's probably not a slurp. He gets a box? Yeah, because it's it just it looks long. like it'll be hung up in the tube. Kind of long. Yeah? Box. Front box? Sure. Front box, eh? 178? Yep, 178. Let me know when you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bingo box. Oh, All right. Wow. Box what? coming out. Is there anything in the box? Nope. We just got here. Oh, we just got here. <laughs> <laughs> what day is today? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> World Oceans Day. Oh, yeah. And it's been a great day. This has been an awesome day. It's been a, yeah, I agree. Box. You want box extended more? Yeah. Give me all you got. All the beans. Spit floaty. I didn't yeah. go right up that slurp hose. I'm sure of it. But not convincing us at all. Stay in the box. So I guess yep. it's okay. Oh, nope. as long as the box, the box stays in the, in the box. <laughs> box going in. Yeah. Why does Atalanta pilot like the day after Christmas? Because it's box in day. No. <laughs> no. 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 Is that when? <laughs> I'm not Porgy, even how about Porgy uh, Porsche is coming in. I can't. Oh is that when Boxing Day is? Day after Christmas? Sometime no, it's when Christmas. it rains oh. and then you go out to the forest and you find all the Porchin-ies. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
this one. Oh, can, my goodness. Oh. This is a stretch. This is <laughs> bad. But seriously, is Boxing Day the day after Christmas? I need yeah. to know. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> All right. Oh, let's get out of here. Okay, where are we going? Along? Onwards. Along this feature? Up this feature? Oh yeah, we were kind of going along, weren't we? Yeah, along we, we yeah. there should be more of this step up. So if we want to continue on our path, we we can. So 280 still? Will we be able to store the step? Yep. I saw yes. it on the... 285. Perfect. 280. 280. Yeah, it's kind of at the limit of our limits right now. Bridge, Nev. Okay, uh, let's gotta, try for anyway. three zero meters, two eight zero. What did you say, Robert? I got to go along this thing anyway. Yeah. To get over where I'm supposed to be. Ooh. So those. It's amazing. The scratches wow. or bio stuff could be a mystery forever then. No, no, we'll come back across <laughs> this. We're, we're going to zigzag. Look at that. Looks like a frozen wave. You gonna look closer. Yeah. It does have some of that same stuff. This is more accessible. Hmm. You don't want to poke it? Can we poke it? Put that put the porch down on that protrusion. See what happens. Yeah, let's poke the, the bio stuff. Let's right. poke the Is it bio? No, I don't think it is, but <laughs> there's only one oh way to find God. out. <laughs> Gotta poke it. <laughs> this protrusion? Yeah. Oh, and there's a porch little coral. protrusion. Yeah. You want the porch? No, I yeah, don't care. Give me a little porch. Oh yeah, for yeah there is a porch coming out. Ooh, maybe a. I'll try not to give it or. full beans, but. All the way out. It's got a mind of its own. There we go. Porsche is all out. Stay put. Bridge, Nev. Hold position. Mm -hmm. We are getting a DC GF yeah. on Herc. It's a, it's a craft GF. Cut. <laughs> Just out of reach. There we go. Nope. Oh. Oh. Not organic. Uh -oh. Not organic. Hmm. Okay, so Hang on, let me reposition on there. Then we can examine. Can you give me a little more leash? Yep, more leash coming your way.
fish. All right, zoom in. Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Close call. What is this? Wow. I, I don't think so it is the same as the chalky rock that yep. we got last time. Yep. So it must be, I mean, erosion is <laughs> not really a thing down here, so. These look more like roots, which doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it yeah. does. The last ones look like scrapes. And then chat is wondering if using the laser would help. The laser spectrometer? Yes. Uh, yeah, if Hercules could go full <laughs> nose down. <laughs> nose up. Yeah, I guess either way. Well, either way, <laughs> be a little awkward. <laughs> okay. Let's do like a handstand. Uh, you got more? Can you can you still reach that again? Can we do some more scraping? Again, Dave. Is that getting us anywhere? Uh, yeah. Is there? Is that like a tube? Yeah. A little cross section of a tube. Uh, yeah. I wonder if yeah we're looking at. I don't know. I do not know. All right. Well. We're going to have to send someone down there. <laughs> <laughs> Juliana. <laughs> Is there any piece? It looks like it's pretty uh, friable. Yeah. If there's a piece anywhere that's overhanging, we could try and, try and grab it. I don't wow. see it here, but I think maybe we'll try and find it. Uh, yeah. Steve wondered if the tubes might be from polychaete worms that typically inhabit the coral matrix. Wow. Mm -hmm. Which was actually my least favorite of the Matrix movies. The Coral <laughs> Matrix. <laughs> All right, before we zip away, there, on the upper right, there's a pink coral that might be worth looking at. Before we zip away from our current spot, or is it? Where is it? Oh, right there. Zoom in. That's all the right pan I have. Okay, no, that's good. Uh, I think it might be. Mm, looks a little Boy, it's hard right to there. say. You Hemi, zoom? Hemi, according to Steve. Nope, that's it. Hemi? Cool. We're good, thank you. You got it? Yep. Alright. So we're done with all this? Yep. Go find us some more dumbos. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. They seem to be on places where there's this Ready big for porch concave back in. Yeah, porch in. section. Porch coming in. Yeah. Almost like something like scooped it out. Mm -hmm. Porch is retracted. Hmm. Oh. It's Tramatolite casts. That would be interesting. Is that a theory? Oh, it's one of the best theories we have so far. <laughs> what is but that? But we don't there? have any good theories. A spunder coral. 
Oh. Will you zoom in on that thing there, Dave? Sponge. I think. Looks like the fly trap. Looks like a nice fly trap. Yeah. Looks like the fly trap. On a coral. But there's more of a scraping there. Whatever it is. I mean, it's attached to something. Oh, it's. Is that on a coral, perhaps? Ah, one of my subjects. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Good. Thank you. Definitely looks like maybe a more erodible layer. Hmm. But look, it just stops right there. Hmm. <laughs> this is so weird. I I have no theories, no guesses to add. from up above it's like a little yeah what a weird chunk taken out is i mean it looks like someone like yeah, cut it out you're right <laughs> is this when we find the sea monster that made all the scratches <laughs> all this is gonna end up yeah on the right because <laughs> this piece looks cut out i think probably they're uh fractures that formed at right angles, and this one just happened to cause the stuff to fall out like that. I don't know. I'm not not saying an alien did this. <laughs> <laughs> this is a part it's of the musical. never aliens. <laughs> Cue musical. <laughs> Cue musical number. It's not, it's never aliens. <laughs> Umbalula. Ooh. My DCGF. Thank you. Yeah. Is back on her. Well, I think you can see it pretty well in the Atalanta camera. I think you're a bit. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's not Doppler. Yeah, yeah you're a Doppler. little bit beyond. Or yeah. I can't tell. Okay. Shoot again. You should have a cool sound effect with that laser. Right? Pew! <laughs> wow. Wow, wow. <laughs> Uh, it's got to be uh, pew pew pew. Ground fault just updated. I guess I could go by the. All right, there you are. I'm yep. Going by the that view, the Argus view, yeah. Atlanta view. There you go, right yeah. there. That's the ticket. That's a good. That was a good one. Stay there for a second, if you can. Yeah, we see a change here in the in the fluorescence Ooh. spectrum of this pigment, which is expected. So, even if it's kind of like uh, I don't know, uh, low density organic. Uh, right there. Oh yeah, you got it. Yeah, nice. <laughs> That's cool. You see, when you see the double spot, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Can I reset the DVL over here? Yeah, you can do it. Perfect. Yep. Uh, yeah, I think we have we have what we needed here. Uh, okay. What is it? <laughs> it's a ground fault. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> uh, what else we wanna? So hang on, we gotta figure this out. All right. right. <laughs> The oncoming Cheyenne's got the streak, man. Around. Always the first one. Oh, right. Always. That's always. impressive. Okay. Extremely punctual. Yeah. Uh, just updated. 
All right, those watching on shore, we're going to do a little technical adjustments and have a watch change. So yep. stand by. If you'd like, I can, I'm happy to sing for the next 10 minutes. <laughs> For our folks at home, thank you so much for um, exploring with us. Uh, we are currently exploring a feature on the summit of GEO 10 using the laser dive bot. Our expected dive duration is about eight hours with a max depth of 1467 meters. Um, and also um, just uploaded on nautiluslive.org. Um, check out our highlights. Check out our team collecting the four fossilized whale skulls. The highlight is now on nautiluslive.org, so head on over to our website um, for the amazing highlights. Stay tuned for more highlights to come. Uh, we are now on watch change. Uh, if you have any questions, please send them in. We have um, Pablo and Kevin uh, with the laser dive bot. Um, if you have any questions, send them in. Uh, thanks so much for sticking with us and for exploring with us. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to everybody tuning in. Thanks so much for being here. Y'all are amazing. Uh, do not forget uh, the four fossilized whale skull highlights are now on nautiluslive.org. We are now on watch change. Um, shout out to our friends from all over the US, Canada, UK, Germany, Norway, Portugal, New Zealand, Netherlands, Italy, Australia, uh, Puerto Rico, Philippines, Israel, this is a new one, Guernsey, France and France and Spain. Thanks so much for being here. Um, 8 to 12, signing out. Yeah. Uh, laser dive bot folks, can you hear me? Can I power cycle your instrument? Can't hear you on comms there. Uh, yeah, if you'd like to power cycle us, that's fine. Okay, all right, I'm gonna go for it. All right, off. What did I do that for? Oh, and the, the arm is on.
All right, well, I don't think it's the dive bot. Okay, the dive bot's back on. Thank you. Well, that's, that's dangerous. Uh, Mizo, you mean? This, yeah. Oh, is the edge tech throwing a ground fault? Why did they even have that on? Looks like everybody's settling in. Just uh, need a couple of minutes up front yep. here and chasing a ground fault around. Got you on that. You guys can go ahead and chat. It's just more for science. Just um, So Pablo, I think I got a little bit of an update from Adam, but uh, it seems we're interested maybe, you're interested maybe in at some point in collecting a rock soon and maybe shooting both like the top and underside of that rock and maybe exposing some of the interior of that rock. Is that um, sort of where we're at? Yep, exactly. That's where we left it. And I think, yeah, so what we've done is um, sediment, as always, a uh, little bit of uh, the goo or the ooze at the bottom. Yep. And uh, we've scanned the top of a couple of these big boulders. Okay. And yeah, I think uh, we're curious about the other side. So will flip one of those um, uh, to the best of uh, Mike's ability uh -huh. and maybe even break one of those in half and verify that there's carbonate in there and with some organic tracers there. Uh, that will be a good, uh, a good use of you know, the next uh, chunk of time. Okay, great. And uh, Cheyenne, I heard that we're maybe battling some ship forces. Uh, did you get an update from Sam there? Uh, Samantha. <coughs> yeah, they got they got blown off once. Um, doesn't look great for lateral movements. Um, okay. They were going two ninety, which seems to be right on the edge. Okay. Um, okay, it's ready. Yeah, we also, so if we recover at four, we only have two hours and 45 minutes, so I don't think we're going to get to all of this. Okay, um, it would be nice to, so we want to kind of stay along this steeper section, mm -hmm. uh, and Adam was saying, you know, ideally we would be going more northward on it, but I understand that that's not really possible, so I guess... Uh, yeah, 290, continuing at 290, maybe going, could you draw that out for me? Yeah. 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 So something like that would be mm -hmm. great if it's possible, if that's what they were doing and it was going all right. Um, uh, we at least, yeah. you know, wouldn't get, if, if we were blown off, would not get blown off in a dangerous direction. Mm -hmm. Uh, we could, I mean, I don't know if there's anything particularly like if this side is special, but we could also just climb up the slope. Uh huh. That would be easy. Um, let's have that as like in our back pocket, but maybe mm -hmm. try the other direction first. Okay. Yeah. All right, we're okay-ish here. We're ready to go anyway. So what? What? Do we, so we don't have an Atalanta sonar mm -hmm. which is pretty lame oh okay um, i didn't gather so that. when we're going up slope no faster than point two got it um and then i guess yeah i missed a bit of your dialogue there what direction are we going to head out in now uh <clears throat> i was thinking starting at 290 that's right on the edge uh that's what they were doing at the last watch okay and then and there's some, they said there's some rocky stuff over to starboard and then out on 290 or to port looks muddy. 
But these are like big rocks, not. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, I think the issue is we can't go really upslope unless we go right in the direction you were talking about, Cheyenne, like mm -hmm. ship's current heading. Yeah. Um, we could go a little bit off. Oh, we could go like, like this would probably be fine. Okay, would it maybe be possible to climb up a bit and then try and go like 290 along that higher contour maybe? Oh yeah, we can do that. Let's do that and see if we run into more up there. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, so just maybe a couple moves in that direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is that Does that sound good to you, Michael? Yeah, that's fine. Um, yep, that works. Cool. Um, before moving, though, was there right here, Pablo, anything that you wanted to look at? Like any of these rocks? Is that the, the kind of rock texture you or the oh. rock type you've been looking at? Uh, I think we have a lot of that rock type, and uh, we're going to do a hand over the laser dive bot to uh, our Atalanta pilot, <laughs> Rin. <laughs> so. Uh, okay, so we didn't want to flip any of these. Want to keep moving? Okay. Okay. All right. So yes, we'll keep we'll we'll go go ahead, Cheyenne. Okay. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then, Cheyenne, if you could let me know, like, when the, when ship moves are done and we'll see if, if we're over anything interesting that the dive bot might want to stop uh, and look at. Yeah, sounds good. Great, thanks. Oh, what's, what's down that? there? What is that floating thing? Looks like another uh, sea pig, maybe. Cucumber. Or a Dumbo octopus. <laughs> Wait a minute, look at it. It's I, it looks like the headless chicken. I think it is, yeah. Wait, did you see the little, it almost looks like the little ears. Did you I see? Know. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. probably not, yeah. but. Yeah, you're right. It's elpitted, um, but still cool. I still really cool. I want to say that these are different and a different. Oh, group. are they so not elpidity? -E? Pelagothurids. Or Pelagothuria not. Um, Pelagothurid, yeah. Not within that group. Oh, look at it. Okay. Wow. That was such a tease. He did look like it. Right? Didn't it <laughs> look like it had the Dumbo ears? Yeah. <laughs> Still cool, very cool. Still oh, very pretty. So much hey, more graceful than uh, the one from the other day. <laughs> uh -huh. I know. This one's just drifting along. Yep. Not really trying to get out the way. Wow. Not just get. It's, oh, it has some sort of parasite on it. Oh yeah, a couple. You can see its gut pretty well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Curled up in there. Is that what is this? Headless chicken monster. Um, Pelagotheria. So yeah, let's go around the or other way. Or Pelagotherid. Uh, okay. Right there. there. Port is the yeah. family. Okay. Or yeah, I think it's just one genus. If you want to go to genus. But all right, got it. Hooray! Love headless chicken monsters. <laughs> We're starting to see more of them. Yeah. At least Have uh, we? That's what I've noticed. We've seen hey. a bunch of sea pigs. I don't think, at least on oh. our watch, I don't think we've seen the headless chicken monster yet, or not one that I've been here for. I guess it depends on you how that, how you define it, because the. We've seen some clear ones.